spike of this happening at the Tucson Mall, according to them, within the last three months or so. So we dug in to find out what you need to know. It's a crime crackers investigation from Lupita Maria. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good. So you think I'll be fine today? Mark Mandiani works retail at both Foothills Mall and Tucson Mall. Tucson Mall is where police say a low-tech scam is having a high success rate. Retailers there have lost more than $40,000. We've had a rash of cases uh, where we found credit cards that were fraud manufactured um, using compromised numbers of victims. The thief buys large ticket items to sell or takes the items back and gets the cash. Jessica McDonald says in her previous job at a big box store, she saw this scam and knew how to spot the thieves. There's subtle differences between a legit card and a, and a fake card, like the holograms, and maybe the, the paint on the card doesn't always match up the images. Another thing to watch for, if the customer asks, the number on the card be entered manually. If it doesn't quite um, look at it, um, inspect it, ask for another form of payment. Also, ask for identification. Most people comply, or... They become my rate, and they question, hey, why my credit card, you know, why aren't you taking my credit card? And, and we had to explain to them, you know, well, the numbers don't match, ID doesn't match, sorry. Since the economy has been challenging lately, perhaps that's the reason for the spike in fraudulent credit cards. <coughs> Most of the time related to meth and betamine use. TPD wants retailers to take a closer look at the cards and for consumers to check their credit card bills often. Lupita Murillo, News 4 Tucson. All right, last night.